I'm Aisha Rose, I'm 26 and I'm an artist. Art gives us the opportunity to stop, reflect and take a moment, which is something that we've all forgotten how to do. My goal is to feel that inner strength based on my mind power and with that I think I'll probably achieve my health goals as well. I haven't been very well um, since I was very young so I, I think with mind power I'm trying a different technique with this whole health challenge and life challenge is if you are healthy from within um, I'm sure it will follow on the outside so healing from within is, is my, my goal. I want to get out of this adventure, I want to I want to feel alive again. I want my spirit to feel alive. I want to see it part of the world that I can flourish in, not just my my body, my mind, but I, it's just amazing what you can achieve when you're away from your familiar surroundings. And I'm interested to see what my body will, how my body will respond, as well as you know, the other aspects of, of the adventure, which is, you know, it is an adventure and I'm a bit of an adventure junkie myself. Well, in today's environment, I feel that no one really has time for anything or anyone. So we're constantly cutting corners with our lifestyle, our health, our, our own mentality. And so no one's really 100% happy. No one's really 100% healthy, even though there are so much available to us, but we just don't have the time because we're so focused on making money because money is now time. Your time is money. And we are constantly consumed with wanting things fast, wanting to achieve quick results, um, take a diet pill, um, go to a drive through And we don't think about the effects of that. It's all about cause and effects. So I think body, mind, soul are always constantly at war and disconnected and I think that um, if you can try and develop some sort of cyclical process where you can constantly be um, combining all these three very important parts of life, um, then, then you've got it made. This project with Life Challenge offers more than just achieving the end of the Kokoda Trail. I mean, we're going to be working in a team. We're all going to need to support each other. This, this represents a life change, which is, I think that's the most important thing, is that change is something that we're all afraid of. And um, we're so used to living in the mundane and, and having a routine and um, a cycle that we can't really disconnect for a minute and understand what power we really have. Things, the elements that stop me from achieving health and well-being is definitely my health. I seem to have hit a lot of bumps in the road in regards to that so I, this challenge is, is going to represent a lot more for me in that regard. It's, it represents my life and my future. I think because of my health history, I've, I've had to become so much more aware, maybe prematurely at this point in my life, I'm in my 20s and I should really be living it up, but because of my health history, I've had to really become aware of what you put in will come out on the outside. So health and well-being and eating well is really important to me. And especially when your health status is constantly changing and out of your control. You can't really change your genetics. But I guess that's what I'm trying to achieve is that maybe you can change it by your mentality and your mind power and connecting your mind, your body and your soul as one. And maybe this challenge will offer that opportunity.